Hi, I hope all is going well and you're having a beautiful blessed day. And today I want to hang out with you and talk about my sermon notes from this past weekend. This past weekend we continued our series, God With Us. And this weekend we studied God With Us in the Storm. So there are three truths about storms that we need to remember. And the first truth is that storms are inevitable. It's not if they will happen, but it's when they will happen. Truth number two, storms are impartial. Storms don't pick and choose who they affect. They affect everybody at one time or another. And truth number three about storms are that storms are usually impossible to predict. Now I say usually because I'm kind of taking the lead from my pastor here. And he was saying that we can in fact um, bring a storm on ourselves. If in fact we do something like spend too much money and then get ourselves in debt. And then oh no we're in the storm of debt because we spent too much money. Or... We are a college student that got a bad grade because, oops, we ate late night beer, ate late night pizza and drank late night beer and forgot to study for our finals. But all in all, storms are usually impossible to predict. So there are two responses that we can have to a storm. And one, we can either blame God for it, or two, which is the better option, we can trust God through it. Okay, so there are a few things that we need to remember when we are in a storm. Number one, remember God's closeness. And never let the presence of a storm make you doubt the presence of God. Number two, we need to relax in God's care. Peace is not the absence of a storm. Peace is the presence of God. Um, the number three, the number three thing we need to remember is that God can use your past storms to help someone going through the same thing. So when you have come out of a storm, God will usually match you up with somebody that is going through the same storm you just came out of. Because who is better to help somebody through a storm than a person who experienced the exact same thing in their lives. And that leads me to my memory verse. And the memory verse for this week was Romans 8, 28. And it says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. Those who have been called according to his purpose. I hope this holiday season finds you well and that you have a Merry Christmas. And I pray, guys, that if you're going through a storm, that you would know in your heart that God is always, always there. He is never going to leave you. And I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and lots of love and lots of safety with God's care. I'll talk to you soon. Have a blessed one. Bye.